Are you tired of seeing this boring white boy all the time? Um, uh, not me. I'm, I'm talking about the default mouse cursor. Having a custom mouse cursor makes your game more visually appealing and it's actually pretty easy to implement. So, if you'd like to improve the overall look and feel of your game, this video might help you. To show you what I mean, I've created some kind of main menu, but in my opinion the default mouse cursor doesn't fit the scene at all. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, I've added two sprites to my project that I made in Aceprite. As far as I know, the hardware cursor is limited to the size of 32 by 32 pixels, so my sprites are the same size. At first, we need to change the texture type from sprite to cursor. Afterwards, we set the filter mode to point no filter and the format to RGBA 32 bit. This will prevent our cursor from looking blurry. Don't forget to hit apply and go to file, build settings and player settings. As you can see, there is no default cursor set yet. That means our game will use the operating system's default cursor. To change that, we simply drag our sprite onto the empty field. Another setting we might want to take a look at is the cursor hotspot. The X and Y value represents the offset from the top left corner of the texture to use as the target point. In my case, my arrow is already pointing to the top left corner, so I'll leave the values unchanged. As soon as we close the settings, we can see our new cursor in the game view. Very good. The new cursor fits the main menu much better, even though the main menu is still ugly. But that's obviously my fault. Another way to change the cursor is via script. This is very useful if you want to have different cursors depending on the situation in your game. Let's create an empty game object called Cursor Manager, add a script to it and open it up. First of all, we need a reference to our cursor sprite, which is a texture 2D. We serialize this field so we can change it later in the editor. Next, we need a private vector tool called Cursor Hotspot. In this example, we want to use the crosshair as our new cursor. And instead of having the target point in the top left corner, we want to set it to the center of our texture. In the start method, we set the cursor hotspot to the width and height of our texture divided by 2. Our crosshair has a width and height of 32 by 32 pixels. Dividing these two values by 2 returns 16, and therefore the center of our new texture. Now we want to call a method called cursor.setCursor. The first parameter is our texture2d, the second parameter is our cursor hotspot, and the last parameter determines whether the cursor is hardware or software rendered. Back in Unity, the only thing left to do is to drag our crosshair onto the cursor texture reference in our script. If we hit play now, we should have replaced the arrow with the crosshair. I hope I could help you to make your game a little bit better. And as we talked so much about mouse cursors today, why don't you move yours over to the subscribe and like button and show them some love. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.